For those of you who still have old 8mm film reels tucked away somewhere, this section can show you how simple and inexpensive it is to transfer those memories to video. Surprisingly enough, there are many people who still have 8mm film that can be played on a noisy projector. Sure, you can pay a company hundreds or even thousands of dollars to professionally transfer your film to video, but the process is fairly simple, and you can do it for a fraction of the cost. The first thing you'll need is a camcorder. If you're watching this DVD, you either own one, plan to own one, or have access to one. Second, you'll need a tripod. If you've watched this DVD from the beginning, you know how helpful a tripod can be. But for transferring film to video, a tripod is a must. Third, you need some blank camcorder tapes. If you're very familiar with how to capture video directly from a camcorder to another device like a VCR, DVD recorder, or computer, you won't necessarily have to use camcorder tapes to record the transfer. To keep things simple, we're only going to demonstrate how to transfer film using camcorder tapes. Later, you can edit the video using the methods we demonstrate on this DVD. Finally, depending on what type of film you have, you'll need a variable speed 8mm or Super 8 projector. Unfortunately, you just can't run down to your local store and pick up a new one, but they can be found on the internet. Online auction sites are probably your best bet for finding one that works and isn't too expensive. Make sure the projector has a variable speed knob. You need to be able to adjust the frame rate or speed of the projector to match the frame rate of your camcorder. If not, there will be a significant flicker when your film is transferred. You should avoid buying a variable speed projector that has a switch instead of a knob. Make sure the auction states that the projector has been tested and works. Ask the person selling it if it can be returned if it doesn't work. Get the model number and make sure that you can purchase a replacement bulb for the projector before making your purchase. There are companies online that have replacement bulbs available for many 8mm projectors. Make sure the projector includes a take-up reel. Don't just let the film run into the trash can. Even though you're transferring the film to video, you'll want to keep the film until you are happy with the transfer. Before transferring your film to video, make sure the projector works. Turn it on, feed the film through the projector a couple of times, and make sure you can see a focused image on the wall. You don't want to set everything up and have the projector not work. If your projector runs both regular 8mm and Super 8 film, make sure it is set to match your film type. You're going to need to do the transfer either at night or in a room with no windows. Depending on how many reels you have, it's a good idea to use a room where you can leave the projector and camcorder undisturbed for several days. It's a good idea to calculate how much time it will take. For 3 inch reels, allow for 10 minutes each. For 5 inch reels, allow for 30 minutes each. For 7 inch reels, allow for 40 minutes each. Most projectors make a lot of noise. Since you'll be right next to the projector, you may want to use a set of noise cancelling headphones or earplugs. As you're watching the film, good note taking will save you time later when the video is edited. When you're ready to transfer, your first step is to set up the projector. Place it on a sturdy table facing a wall or solid surface, and make sure the power cord will reach an outlet. Tape a piece of solid white paper where the projector image will be. Make sure the paper is flat and taped on all four corners. Turn the projector on and feed film through. The image should be no bigger than 6 inches high and 6 inches wide and fit within the paper taped to the wall. Point the projector slightly to the right so that the image is not directly in front of the projector. Load a blank tape in the camcorder and set it on a tripod just behind and to the right of the projector. Turn the camcorder on to the camera mode. Line up the image so that it fills the camcorder LCD screen and turn the variable speed knob on the projector so that the image in the camcorder is flicker free. If your camcorder allows you to adjust the white balance, you'll want to set it on the indoor light setting. 
you'll need to zoom, adjust the focus, and adjust the tripod so the image is square. If the film runs out before the camcorder is set up, you'll need to run the film through again. Once the camcorder is adjusted, turn it and the projector lamp off. Anytime you turn the projector light on and off, make sure that you run the projector's fan until the bulb has cooled. When you're ready to transfer, feed the film through the projector so that the white lead is wound around the take-up reel. If your film does not have a lead or has a short lead, feed the film to the point where an image appears on the paper and stop the projector. If the image is upside down and running in reverse, it means that the reel was not rewound correctly the last time it was shown. To correct this problem, reverse the direction on the projector until the film is completely out. Switch your movie reel with the take-up reel and rewind the film to the take-up reel. When transferring, you'll use the original movie reel as the take-up reel. If this doesn't correct the problem, it means that the reel was incorrectly spliced. The only way to fix it is to run the film through twice without rewinding it and start recording when the image is upright and moving forward. If the film is correct, turn your camcorder on, turn off the lights, and start the projector. Immediately after starting the projector, press the record button on your camcorder. When the film ends, press record again to stop the camcorder, turn the projector lamp off, and turn on the lights. Next, rewind the film back into its original reel. You'll continue this process until all your film has been captured to video. When you watch the film, you may have noticed that everything is moving a little fast. This is because you had to speed up the projector to match the frame rate of your camcorder. If you plan to edit the video with a computer and your software has the capability of adjusting the speed of the video, you'll want to set the speed to around 